Terry Maddock and this is Little Rainbows. Um, we've been a nursery on the world for 10 years now and we are registered for 38 children at any one time. We, we started auditing um, using the online tools that provided for us uh, through the National Day Nurseries Association and we looked at the skills level of the practitioners and we asked them to do um, a BSKB test, which they weren't too keen about, but actually really helped them in the long term because it enabled them to look for signs and areas where they wanted to progress and where they needed to build up their knowledge. They were then able to look around the nursery and look at the everyday continuous provision and see what we had that was really useful to the children with maths and what we needed to develop. We were hugely surprised by the results. We knew that we'd been a little bit lax because we'd been concentrating so hard in other areas, but we didn't realise to what extent it was being neglected, not only by the environment, but also by the practitioner's confidence. Because not everybody had the same level of confidence and the same level of knowledge, we'd find that some practitioners would concentrate on some areas and others would try and avoid them. So to bringing everybody together to acknowledge that fact was a huge help. We implemented lots of changes um, in terms of having structured maths activities by every staff member to increase not only the children's knowledge and the differentiation for the children, but also that the practitioners got a real feel for what they could do and to explore their own boundaries. So we started off giving the, the girls time out initially um, to do the audits. Once the audits were clear and everybody had had the staff meeting around that, everything was pretty much done on the floor as a team approach. So the baby room staff would be responsible for implementing the changes and monitoring those changes within their room, as would the toddlers and the preschool teachers, so that everybody had a very clear agenda to work to and a clear idea of what they wanted to do. That then would be shown then to the rest of the group at the team meetings once a month. In addition to the staff meetings, we found that individual staff needed that little bit more support. So when we were doing the supervisions, which were sort of every six to eight weeks, we included Maths Champ and their progress and how they felt into that supervision to see what level of support they needed, were they happy, whether they needed any more support, how we could better them further. And the response from that was really positive because it was in a private environment and that helped us to identify key areas in which individuals needed to move on rather than just a staff team. We knew we needed to raise staff confidence because a lot of our girls, and you know, myself included in that, hadn't studied maths or particularly fond of maths for many, many years. So we needed to have our own confidence built. We did that through researching local, uh, local colleges and local night classes and offering those not only to the girls but also to the parents. The parents knew that we were on board with MathChamp and it was an easy way for us to, to give information to the parents about what was out there in the wider community. Confidence improved across the setting with all practitioners and we knew this through, through the planning and the activities and the challenge that was being put across. We found that the girls were actually getting excited by, for planning with maths which had never happened before and things that we put into place as part of routine were becoming embedded so there was no fear of what could or couldn't be done, anything was possible. Impact with, um, the, with the staff has also been huge. They're more confident, we have practitioners who are willing to support each other more in different areas where they're struggling. We've identified leads in each area to be able to take the to share the burden of, of, of planning. We were able to feed in all of the results from the audit, our evaluation processes and the monitoring of it into our CEF for Ofsted and also our local authority quiz, which gave us a good plan of showing where we were and also what we wanted to achieve, which helped us to achieve a better grade with Ofsted and also give us a, a, good, a better impact with the local authority. Because we were concentrating on other areas, this was noticeable within the children's tracking and assessment procedures. As we got deeper into Maths Champion, we found that these gaps were narrowing 
and it was because of the effort that was being put in through the staff but also the support that we were given through the continuous planning and updates and webinars that provided for us by the NDNA. This then helped narrow that gap um, and keep that, hopefully keep that gap uh, continually narrow.